Yeah, good morning everybody. We are here in uh, New York City. This is the JFK uh, Kennedy Airport and we are getting ready for departure. Destination Liège, Belgium. Everything is actually ready, cockpit-wise. Me and Daniel here. However, the cargo door, as you can see here, the side cargo door, which is the big door through it, they lo loading the, all the cargo is still open. And about this, there's nothing we can do about it. Just to wait. So we are still waiting. Didn't start the APU yet. Flight computers are ready. Daniel is going to be the pilot flying today. So, uh, and I'm going to be the pilot monitoring. Here we have the route, so it's a departure. We plan to depart runway two to right, and then vectors, this is the standard uh, departure. And then we have the points, Berry, Ananto, Kenny, and all the points for all the route. These coordinates are the coordinates that we are going to cross the Atlantic Ocean through those one. Uh, 49 North, 050 West, as you can see, 51 North, 040 West, etc. All the way across the ocean. This is Europe already, Strambolo, it's in England. And uh, then going back to Campton, Big, it's Biggin Hill in England. And Dover, Vabic approaching Belgium, enjoying uh, Liège Airport. On the other side, in uh, this uh, FMC, we can see the performance all set and ready. This is going to be on uh, the pilot flying side. As we, you can see, we have here the V1, it's the decision speed 153. V rotate, this is the speed that we will start rotating and taking the plane to the air 169. And V2, this is a safety speed in case of engine failure. This is the speed generally we would like to maintain at least not below flaps 20 and we are on a reduced uh, the rate 2 here is uh, the acceleration uh, in case of engine out so we will accelerate at 1000 feet all engine acceleration also will be 1000 feet and thrust reduction will be when we will retract the flaps to flaps a5 so this is the performance here you can see the uh, engines uh, that actually right now it shut down of course here we have the uh, all the system this is the fuel that uh, divided on the fuel tanks so we have uh, one two three four five six seven tanks this is the center tanks uh, lower the fuselage and this is this ones are on the wings we have uh, two each wings including the reserve so we have total of uh, 80.6 max fuel that this plane can take it's the amazing number of almost 165 tons of uh, fuel which is a huge uh, number of course this is a 0.747 as we all know and, and like uh, let's have a look here a little bit uh, so we, we have the IRS's uh, this is the um, electricity section the generators everything is four because we have four engine this is the hydraulics this is the engine uh, hydraulic pump and this is the demand uh, those two goes with electrical and those one and four go with air this is the uh, fire uh, extinguisher section. In case we have a fire, we will deal with these handles. Here we start the engine, we just pull it. On this section is the fuel. All of those ones are the fuel pumps. As you can see, it's all off uh, right now. Anti-ice, all the lights. And uh, going here, it's the air condition. We have uh, three packs, and this is the bleeds, four bleeds. Each engines, uh, each engine have the bleed. Uh, the ECS environment, environment control system, uh, and here is the outflow valve. 
and the outflow valve control in case of manual and uh, that's it actually this is the oxygen deployment over here you see all the circuit breakers we have more at the back and let's go down here so here we have uh, the third FMS that it's like a cars and uh, uh, to get messages send and more info this is the radios control ASP audio control panels for the right side left side and the observer uh, trims signal sign automatic brakes now it's on RTO rejected takeoff which means that if in case of while on takeoff I will close the throttle and pull the speed brake this auto throttle auto brakes will start work automatically and uh, stop uh, the plane with the max capacity brakes uh, of course the throttle fuel control speed brake flaps radar radios frequencies and here is the autopilot uh, control center actually here is what we want over here is what we get so if I will press a button here I will get heading select here and then I will reset it again and um, let's do it like this reset perfect VNet and uh, so actually uh, this is the altitude ready the heading and this speed what is the speed correct is the v2 speed you gave the answer not me i used to have a teacher I used to say it all the time what else daniel uh, that's it so we are just have to wait for those cargo doors to be closed and uh, meantime we can uh, drink some water chit chat and uh, enjoying the lovely sun here in JFK so thank you it was nice talking with you and see you on the next video cheers